10 now a young driver allegedly had both hands on her phone moments before a deadly crash. And tonight the victim's family is speaking out. Randy Meyer has that story next on Fox at 10. Randy. Yeah, Jeff and Kelsey, as we've reported on too many times for years, the warning has come from all directions. Put down your cell phone while driving. Well, tonight, just days after police say their daughter was killed by an inattentive driver, a grieving Wisconsin family says this story is proof that every choice we make can have tragic consequences for others. Topping tonight's 10 at 10, Wisconsin police report a young woman was killed at the hands of a driver who didn't have her hands on the wheel. Instead, her full attention was on her phone. Fox 9's Ted Haller is live in Hudson for us tonight. Ted, this, this is a tragic story for all involved. You know, Randy, the more you learn about what happened, the more you learn about the young life cut short, the sadder it gets. She was just the, so involved in, in you know, religious thing, helping people. And Kira Hayes checked off a lot in her 16 years. Study hard at Ellsworth Community High School, hoping to be a doctor? Check. Sing? Check. This is, this is Kira's baby pig. Convince her parents to buy her a pig and name it Lily May Porkchop? Double check. Kira also had a to-do list of things she had not accomplished. Dance in the rain, watch the sunset in Iowa, see the northern lights. Just such, I was so honored to be her mom. That's just such a huge loss for us. Kira left her parents and three siblings on this road on Friday afternoon when police say another driver drifted into Kira's lane, causing her to lose control. She was not wearing a seatbelt and was ejected. Their vehicles never touched. We would just like people to focus on what a what a beautiful girl she and I'm not talking physically beautiful, but beautiful in the fact of everything she did for other people. Because that's really who she was. Kara's parents say they don't know enough to comment on the other driver or exactly what happened, but told us if there's a lesson, it's to remember all actions matter you know, on the road and off. Kira always, she always found that person that wasn't having the best day or was not being treated fairly. These boxes may remain empty, but the most important one of all, the way Kira lived, is one everyone can check in her honor. Think about what you do and realize you're not the only one in this world and every decision you make in the day sends out ripples and make sure your ripples are blessing somebody and are adding to somebody. Akira's visitation is tomorrow. Her funeral is on Wednesday for the visitation tomorrow. Her high school, Ellsworth High School, will offer buses to take people from the parking lot to the visitation. And as for the investigation, Randy, it is ongoing. Back to you.